Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can customize assistive touch actions for a single tap, double tap, or long press on the iPhone 13 series. First, let's go back to your home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On the home screen, tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on accessibility. Then in here, go down and tap on touch. Next, you want to tap on assistive touch. And in the custom actions section, tap on single tap if you want to customize a single tap action. So in here, at the moment, by default, if you tap on it once, it will open up a menu. So here is the assistive touch. And if I tap on it once, it will open up the menu. Now you can set it to um, open up, say camera, app switcher, analytics, uh, control center, hold and drag, uh, home, to so go back to home screen instead. So if I tap on this right now, it will go back to the home screen. So you can um, customize uh, by selecting one of the action, uh, one of the system action in here for a single tap. So here you got lock screen, move menu, mute, and quite a lot of um, features that you can assign to a single tap. So here you got also Apple Pay, volume up, volume down, spotlight, SOS, series shake, screenshots, and a lot more. So that is single tap. Now similar to double tap or long press, you can uh, tap on it. And if you set it to double tap, say uh, to open up the camera or a control center, then you choose that. Okay, so if I do a single tap, it will, let's say, I set it to open menu. So if I do a single tap, it will open a menu. If I double tap, it will open up the control center. And that's it. So double tap to close the control center and double tap to open the control center. And one additional functions to the uh, assistive touch uh, action is the long press. At the moment, it is set to none. So again, you can uh, choose to, if I double tap on it, it can open the camera or app switcher or any of the action uh, down here. So even for a torch, so if I long press on it, it will uh, turn on the torch at the back, as you can see. And if I long press on it, it should uh, turn off torch. Okay, so if I try to long press on it, it's just simply uh, saying that the flashlight is on and I cannot um, switch it off. I need to uh, bring up the control center to turn off touch. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.